Okay, I haven't uh, set up the Arctic oven this season, getting ready for winter, so I wanted to set it up, make sure everything's in working order, and I'll walk you through a bit of the Arctic oven. So the first step here really is you've got the standard tent poles, you get four big tent poles, and then um, one shorter pole. So I arrange them out first, I get everything else out and ready to go, and then it's time for the setup. <laughs> Next, uh, I'm inside the vestibule, which is great. The vestibule in this is huge uh, for for the uh, Arctic Oven Igloo. It is one of their smaller tents, definitely one of their more storm-proof. They've got they're all bomber tents that they make. This one uh, is that perfect blend, as far as I'm concerned, of lighter for an Arctic Oven, but absolutely bomber. So you've got the durability of a Arctic condition, uh, full-on winter disaster tent with, uh, you know, reasonable portability on a dog sled. Uh, you can haul it with a machine, of course, but if you're looking at uh, hauling, hauling a gear, hauling your gear with a sled, a uh, team of dogs, this is very doable, palacious. Let's go inside. Okay, for those that know me, um, you know that I keep gear for a long time. Uh, being fastidious with my gear, being having that attention to detail is incredibly important to me. So one piece that helps with that, and this particular tent, is the ground cloth. So big, heavy duty, uh, and it covers the entire uh, inside of the floor. And it goes on the, it can go on the outside, but uh, really goes on the inside to uh, minimize the damage of. Uh, feet and sharp stuff on the tent fabric itself. Um, so, got to get that set up next. Alright, so setting up the ground, ground cloth is pretty straightforward. Just flinging it out here on the ground and it's got clips in each corner. I'm not sure if I can do it one handed here, but there it is. Clip in each corner. Do that uh, four times, and then you've got ground cloth in. Okay, um, got the ground cloth in. Next, I'll get the uh, gear storage bag back up in place, and then you'll notice that I've got stove, stove pipe, um, and uh, the sleeve here, and the uh, as you can see, the stove jack has a cover on the fly. So I can just pop that back, and uh, once I get the stove in here, we're, we'll be all set for um, being quite toasty, regardless of the weather. Okay, tent is set up. Got the gear loft in. I've got the stove uh, stove covered up, a stove pipe uh, opening covered up. It's all sealed up, and you've got to connect the um, the tubes, kind of the open, uh, the fresh air tubes from the inside tent to the rain fly, so you just kind of poke your hand through and then get it through both of those openings. I'll show you that. Here. So this opening, reach on through, make sure it goes through the outside opening. And that ensures that you've got fresh air um, coming in and mixing uh, with the tent. If you've got any smoke or that kind of stuff, it just helps to vent the tent out. It actually also keeps it drier. Uh, there's one off the front as well. So from the outside, on the inside, so that allows you to get a bit of cross uh, breeze coming through here. And of course, breeze is probably the wrong word. Uh, also, have one off the vestibule as well. So, if you didn't did need to use propane um, or white gas as you're cooking inside the stove or inside the oven, um, that allows you the Arctic oven that allows you to 
have a bit of oxygen coming through and minimize, uh, minimize risk of uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. <clears throat> As you can see, <coughs> it's quite big. Um, plenty of room for two and all the gear that you'd have for winter, uh, including a wood stove getting set up here, you know, right here in the, min in the middle. If you've got two cots, um, all your gear, you've got the vestibule, uh, two people, this is all the room you could ever need uh, for uh, extended wilderness tripping. Um, and then you could definitely fit, you know, three, a third person, uh, even a fourth um, with some comfort. Um, with a wood stove in place, you're really starting to limit yourself. A uh, third person could work, certainly. Fourth is going to be real tight. Um, but, you know, um, desperate times. I was setting this up just to get, um, just to get a sense of if there was any uh, drying that I needed to do or how the fabric was lo looking. And as soon as I got the rain fly out, it started raining. Um, it's been holding off all day, so I figured, well, uh, it's it's just not going to rain. Uh, but it is. So, um, <laughs> I guess we're going to leave the tent up a little bit longer. Uh, so I can dry it back out on the flip side of this. Thanks for watching. Uh, we've got a lot more coming this winter. A lot more footage coming. Um, we're setting a goal for a weekly upload. And even if we kind of miss some of that goal, we'll be doing a lot of winter treks uh, with the dogs, without the dogs. Um, and we are very much looking to bring you along.